Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> Do you guys have a world so big that you kind of forget where everything is and every time you explore it, you find new stuff? Well, you can look at the map under me here and you can probably tell uh, this is a, that kind of world. I've been playing in it for like 1300 hours or something like that and I have built a lot of things, so let's go check them out. And for you longtime viewers, you're probably wondering, Ecolio, where have you been? I haven't made a video in like a year. <laughs> but uh, I'm back now, ready to make some new videos, and I'll talk a bit more about that near the end of the video. So let's get started with the world tour. So to get started, I guess we'll look at the laggiest part of the base, as you can tell from my FPS. Uh, I always think this area is really funny because if I look in any other direction, my FPS just goes straight up. See, 112, <laughs> 130, uh, and then I look here and 60, 44. Um, but yeah, I really like this area. Uh, it's worth it to me to have this map. It's pretty big. Uh, in total, it encompasses 375,000 blocks total, which does cover pretty much everywhere I've built. Um, almost, actually, but pretty close. You can see I even put little tags, but they look so tiny on the map. <laughs> I wish you could make those bigger. I wish you could have like bigger fonts and stuff because, I mean, that is minuscule. But uh, I built this in an episode recently, so if you've already checked out my channel, you already know about this. Uh, probably my favorite room in the entire base. Over here, we have a robot um, that creates... If I go down, it's actually a farm, which creates... So basically, this farm is pretty simple, and I just had to jump cut because I really stumbled on my words <laughs> trying to explain it. Uh, essentially, iron gets piped into here, and the iron gets sorted out and then shipped off into a chest and the poppies get sifted and put into this composter over here which activates the moss farm uh, right now it's off because lag and basically uh just your run-of-the-mill farm things do get recycled though i do sort out the seeds and the carpets which get sent back into here and reworked into the system so basically free iron and free moss all at once um i'm not gonna lie this farm kind of sucks it's really bad <laughs> uh that's kind of one thing i like doing in my world is building my own farms and not looking at tutorials um i wish i was smarter though maybe they'd turn out better because it is kind of hard <laughs> and a lot of the time they don't work out so yeah this room's pretty cool uh i have left some opening there for a future expansion which if you have any ideas of what to put over there please let me know in the comments because i kind of am running dry sometimes <laughs> on things to build um we'll check out this room in a little minute this is new however i've been working on this recently since the update uh, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of find the new update super boring, but I did want to <laughs> kind of incorporate it into the base. Um, so I started building this. If we come down here, it's still a work in progress, it's not all done. I got my sniffer farm, and basically, uh, if I open up my free cam here, just hopper, minecart, minecart hopper, collecting the sniffer drops, and they get sifted into here. Uh, I honestly, when this came out, I was really expecting more than two plants for this mob. So, kind of disappointed. Uh, I also have a creeper farm. the Probably the worst, least efficient creeper farm you've ever seen. <laughs> it's like three levels. Oh, there's one. Uh, just to prove me wrong. I basically built this because... I have built another one, which I'll show later, but uh, it's not super efficient and it's kind of out of the way and i do like to have all of my farms in similar areas i find it's a lot more interesting and it's fun to like just be in the base building and you're collecting drops as you go there's also a slime farm can't really get to it right now i'm still working on that uh there's a slime farm down here <laughs> these are all full though uh, i almost never use slime blocks but hey it is what it is. It's there and it's overflowing. And 
I won't show all these off, but like everywhere in my base, I have these little secret tunnels. Ow. With uh, extra deep storage from like when I'm building an area. So when I dug this out, you know, and the other area, this is where I store all the blocks. <laughs> and uh, later you'll see I do have official deep storage and I made it big enough or so I thought and it's overflowing. So I will show that off. Uh, in a minute here. It is a really cool area though. Up these stairs, we get into, this is sort of like the older part of the base before I started uh, making bigger areas and working on like bigger rooms and enjoying that more. I was doing more of this like tunnel-y idea. I guess we could start over here. This is like the original, the original base uh, where I lived for a long time and this was actually like walled off and there was nothing here for months because I was working on other projects. Um, so yeah, storage, pretty pretty standard, a lot of stuff. Uh, over here, super smelter, or it's actually kind of more of a mediocre smelter, I should say. Uh, we can go check that out in a minute here, but it's very inefficient, because again, I built it myself, and I'm not very good at farms. <laughs> so this is where uh, I collect lava, basically, for the super smelter. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Uh, basically, you put that in here, and it gets piped in. I don't really care about these buckets. I might leave them for the sake of brevity. Uh, and if I open up the back wall here, yeah, this is how you get in. Oh, jeez, inventory's overflowing. Okay, so this is the super smelter. Basically, this is behind that lava, and this minecart comes in, picks it all up, and puts it in. And then this, you know, puts the lava on the back. Um, man, this is really hard to get around. Oh, what? One more. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, and then it goes into a uh, little piston, which activates this dropper. It goes shoots the items up into the water. And this part's actually kind of cool. They fall from the ceiling, uh, which I don't recommend because a lot of the time what will happen is that I. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's a lava bucket. Uh, okay. So what will happen is they'll fall from up here and then they'll miss the hopper <laughs> so you kind of lose out on some items which is kind of annoying but it is pretty cool i think it's aesthetic and that's more important uh this is my bedroom this bedroom here uh got really popular on reddit like a year ago i was pretty happy that's when i like i first started posting i made this room and yeah it's just a bed nothing really special about it might as well take advantage here i put an aquarium back here thought that was pretty cool but you can't really see it from far away. And yeah, it's pretty neat, but a lot of the time I fall in here and it's kind of annoying <laughs> when I'm like one-handed walking and stuff. This is my library, though I am building a new library soon, probably in a future video. But what's neat about this is I built this little shrine here. I was really proud of this. Check this out. You throw a block in there, three lapis come out every time, three lapis. So you never actually have to um, bring lapis with you or like go into a chest or anything. And there's a bajillion lapis in there. So I'll never, ever run out, hopefully. Uh, that's the dream anyway. <laughs> so yeah, this is the library. Uh, and this is all very old too. Like I, I haven't built here in a long time. I think back here there's something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have a lot of pumpkins. Um. When I was saying earlier, you know, this world is old and there's a lot of stuff I forget about. I actually forgot that I had a pumpkin farm and one day I show up and there's just like a billion pumpkins. I didn't want to throw them out. Now I have them turning into um, bone meal and I also have. OK, yeah, this is an issue. Um, I found my world really laggy and it turned out I had like a million villagers hiding behind a wall for the longest time. I was looking for a torch there, but I think this is lit up enough. And I don't have the heart to kill them. I think they're actually... Are they still breeding? Yeah. There's, okay, that's why. Uh, this is the villager farm. And over here was the pumpkin farm. This is like old remnants, you can tell, because it's it's kind of like hidden uh, behind the wall. <laughs> you can't even see it anymore. It's just like old between the wall attic stuff. Anyway, we can move on um, from this area. Oh, and that's a bee farm. Coming into here, uh, I built this for the frogs when the frogs came out and no one told me they were really prone to killing themselves. So well, I hope I can say that on YouTube. Anyway, 
Uh, so I built this room, I filled it up with frogs, and for some reason the frogs would always disappear and die. So I just kind of gave up on uh, keeping those frogs around. In here, I've shown all this off before. I have my villagers set up. Very, very inefficient way of dealing with villagers because I should name them at least. Because every time I'm looking like, oh, where's the mending guy? You know, one of these dudes here. <laughs> but you kind of got to go through them all to uh, find out which one it is. And you press here, yeah, stairs come down. Big emerald in the floor, villager in the wall. It's kind of ugly. Um, I wish I could make the ceiling higher. I really want to redo this entire area just to make it a bigger room. But the issue is uh, water is all around here and other stuff outside. So it's kind of uh, daunting to do that. And I don't want to like excavate more. Uh, over here, this is a pretty cool. This is a video I made a long time ago, actually, that I'm really proud of. Um, for real, it's really neat, but uh, it's basically just a, a sheep farm that I tried to make really aesthetic and all these sheep are each color and of course they get auto sorted into their uh, respective colors back here, right? This was a freaking nightmare, oh my gosh, to uh, to make the sorting system because it's really hard to tell like which one is which <laughs> when you're back here and it took me a while. I should have just put signs or something, but you know. I, I don't, uh, I'm not that organized in life, right? So yeah, that's the villager area and you can see there's a lot more down here. These guys primarily are used for pumpkins. Um, I used to have like a zombie purification thing and I used to really grind the villagers hard in the early game, but now I'm at a point where I can kind of just let them wander and I have like shulker boxes of everything I'd ever need, like diamond tools and whatever. So, you know, I, oh, I thought he got up, uh, freedom for the villagers. Anyway, we can keep going here. Um, this is a really bad... Okay, if someone can solve this for me, I will give you something really nice in return because I can't figure it out. Uh, really simple little kelp farm, but for some reason, this stupid one right here always stops growing right there. And I can never harvest this thing, so I have to add a button <laughs> to make them go. And again, not super efficient, but you know, it gets the job done. I don't need that much kelp. Uh, I honestly, I use this for water elevators to like, you know, cheat the source block um, with the kelp over here little sheep this is probably my favorite mechanic in the game this room very old school you can see similar styles coming back on the ceiling <laughs> that's how I like to do it I like to keep some cohesion this year oh, I never finished this what does that do no idea uh, this here is an auto sorter um, or deep storage that I was talking about earlier you can see the blocks get shot up here what that's just stone brick anyway uh, so yeah, deep storage. Everything gets auto sorted. A uh, lot of stuff in here. This honestly, very, very incredibly useful um, for storage because a lot of time, um, you know, you you kind of look looking for a whole chest of stone. It's hard to find it, but it's fun to just be able to come here and drop stuff off and top this off. Though a lot of it is full, and if we go in a cool little fireplace, I think I found this on Reddit. I don't know if I actually designed this. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but yeah, back here, you know, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple uh, impulse um, item sorter. Huh. I wonder what that means. That's weird. Anyway, I did sort of label these because I was smart back then. This is when I was like super motivated to be doing things properly, but uh, I don't really do that anymore. <laughs> I build stuff quick and I move on. And I tried to keep access as much as I could to this entire place because it is kind of annoying otherwise. Anyway, we keep going here. Move out this way. This is an old nether portal I don't use. I just kept it because it's cool. Uh, really overly decorated aesthetic tunnel. Just to get down here, I'm going to be honest. I built this and I think I've only used it twice to get down here. <laughs> and I built this villager farm uh, with the bees that pollinate the wheat. And for some reason, uh, I don't get wheat from this farm. Um, I think that I have. I don't. Okay, I should probably set up a minecart thing down there and get them to collect it because what I'm getting from this farm is a crap ton of bread. And you know what? Someone like a year ago, um, I think his name was James or something in the comments, I'll tag you in the, in the description, I'm sorry, <laughs> told me how to fix this and I was about to do it and then I never did. Uh, I don't look back when I build projects usually, so I'll set up a minecart here to collect the wheat because I have like no wheat in this world and I would like some wheat. 
Um, but yeah, this is like the down area. There used to be frogs, and this wasn't here when the frogs were here. But when they all died, I was like, oh, you know what? Screw it. I'll make a way down with an extra little farm down here. And that was that. We keep going here. This is an elevator up, by the way. I'll show that off after. If we keep going here, um, I have a cocoa bean farm. Uh, this is from, okay, this is super old school. Some of you might remember. Uh, monkey farm is old world. Like 1.2.5, like 10 years ago, built the farm where you press the button and it like shoots up and down. Uh, I basically remade that. I didn't look at the tutorial, but I, I remade the same thing. So you press a button, boop, get a bunch of cocoa beans. It's pretty cool, but uh, kind of pointless because I made this and I never used the cocoa beans. I guess for brown dye one day, perhaps. And over here, ooh, hey, um, you know, simple cactus farm, which is full. Uh, again, another thing I've literally never ever used. And this area is not done. I will uh, probably add more to this later uh, and expand. But, you know, one project at a time. <laughs> um, it's also, we're starting to get pretty far off the main section of the base here. This is kind of like old world stuff. Now, okay, we're getting into some, some bigger stuff here. If I come upstairs, you will see there is um, this area. And then you go, whoa, what the heck? This is all above. This isn't your base, Ecolio. Uh, this is actually the museum that I've been working on forever, which I've stagnated on because it's, I, I bit off more than I can chew. If I'm completely honest, like this is a main, this is like a burnout machine, this museum. <laughs> but one day, one day I'll have it done. So I built these enclosures with a friend. Uh, the world is single player now, but you know, we, we started this project together and I hope we'll finish it together. And so I have this whole idea, right, where I'm going to collect every single mob in the game. And slowly but surely, hey, we're getting there. Um, and of course, up here is just like a balcony. Basically, you can it's the same thing. You can just look up from up there. Uh, it's huge. It's taken up a lot of my time. And if I'm honest, uh, I don't know if I'll be working on it very much in the near future because I kind of got tired. Uh, here I built a ruins thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. This the idea is here is like this is like a junction uh, That's gonna be one hallway with like overworld mobs and then this way with other mobs um, I had a warden down here for the longest time and his name was mr. The warden and Okay, one thing that's super annoying. I, I spent so much time decorating the floor and he nuked it uh, He absolutely ruined this room by killing zombies and stuff. I didn't realize that that would happen, but hey, it is what it is. Um, now he died somehow, I think on these spikes probably, and he's gone. So I probably will never do that again, if I'm honest with you. It's such a pain to get him over here. And the keen among you will hear this gas. Uh, I do have a video on my channel. It's a pretty old video. Um, probably won't make any more like that. I didn't really like how it turned out, but I did get a gas in here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's hanging out. Uh, this took about eight hours or something to do, but it's really cool. I wish I had the silence me uh, plugin because I really hate hearing him. And now the base has started expanding near here, like in other areas underground, and I can hear him. I can hear him all the freaking time. Whoops. Whoa, free camp. Uh, I can hear him all the time, which is super annoying. Again, another hallway just to give you an idea of how big this is. And I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was going to make like a nether portal or something, maybe someday. I don't know. Uh, here I built a skull. I thought that was cool. Anyway, keep going this way. We're going to go to my biggest L, I think, that I've ever made in this world. Um, the most unfortunate, I don't want to rebuild it I type of things. Down here in this hole. And you can tell I gave up on it because it's super far off and in a pit. <laughs> uh, I found a skeleton. Ow. I found a skeleton spawner. So I built this like weird cyberpunk, like science room type of thing, super detailed. I was really proud of this uh, at the time. I think I built this on a live stream. Those of you who used to watch my Twitch, which you probably don't. Uh, the issue with this room, you can only activate the skeleton spawner when you stand right here. So it's a really AFK thing and you can't even swing on them when you're back here. <laughs> uh, if I, if... yeah, see? 
So it's like all the way over here. And this is the one spot that's close enough. Oh, man, what a regret. What an absolute nightmare. And it's a shame because it's a really cool room. Maybe one day I'll, I'll fix it. If ever they add um, like teleporting or moving spawners or something. But yeah, so a little overview here. Um, that is this section of the museum. And of course, over here, a little cave. Uh, if we fly in, there is more this way. Uh, this is my original little base that I lived in when I was building this museum. And I outgrew it um, pretty fast. I did like the level of detail, though. It's pretty cool with my kitty, um, some tools. You know, I had all my records in here. I was pretty happy with that. And there's a little button here to get down to the lower level um, of the main base, which I started digging out. You come down here, a little smeltery. Um, I was a really big fan, if you can't tell, back in the day of like super small enclosed bases, like super compact, high detail bases. But, uh, oh, okay, that doesn't work anymore. But I kind of moved on to huge rooms. Anyway, come down here. Uh, I have this little like, this little area with like auto farms for like the, whatever this is called. Um, the lichen or whatever and then I had one here for the rooted dirt and uh, This is really useful actually. Oh, I might I have to remember that that's here. I need that and here are some random blocks But this area honestly, I think this is the first time I've visited this in like two years probably so <laughs> you know <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, it is a cool room, but uh, It's kind of dead to me now And that's the problem I think with large bases is you kind of does that still work? No the door used to lock. Uh, that's the thing with like large bases, I guess you just kind of, you know, you keep moving and moving and moving and eventually um, you kind of forget about the things you used to have. Uh, case in point over here, I had a sugarcane farm. Uh, this thing's been full forever. Well, actually, I just came in and took some for the video for the rockets, but you know, little sugarcane farm. Uh, I think I used to have an iron farm around here. Is this still here? Oh, oh, it is. What? Okay, where's this going? Um, did I just keep the farm and remove the chest? <laughs> what? Okay, well, um, all right, I'll have to fix that because I—I mean, that's just like items spawning and dying there. I guess I'll put a chest down. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't even realize. Um, over here, I started building this like really cool portal, um, to the Nether. And then I moved and this portal is like way too far from the rest of my stuff. And it was interfering with a lot of the other stuff. So I had to move it. I got a monkey over here. Uh, built this base, built this room here with all my dogs. We'll bring him. Um, all my dogs uh, over here. I had a super smelter where basically, yeah, funnels in and like, you know, I had fuel. I had output and I had miscellaneous pretty nifty but again I don't use it anymore <laughs> all this here chests I'm actually really proud I might work on this one day I, I do really like where this was going um I like this concept it's really cool anyway come out here and there was a door here again never finished and that's the theme of this base I think is just like unfinished bases whoa it's dark okay I think there's a bed up here I built this observatory up here a uh, really long time ago. Never really did anything with it. I used to live here, I think, for like a few weeks uh, when I first developed this area. Pretty cool. Never finished, but it looks cool on top of the mountain. And this is some uh, other people's stuff back from when this was a multiplayer world. Uh, they do not play anymore. You know, it's like the classic. Um, you played with some friends and then they stop playing and you keep playing and then, <laughs> you know, turns into a single player so I just took the server down and uh, started making it on my own here anyway this is like a little dock and you get back to here and next area is pretty nifty as well uh, if I can just get over there might have to cut here because this is kind of a long flight here is what I built in my last video I thought it was pretty cool I'm gonna build more of these uh, it's gonna be like a million little pods with biomes on them so next up, I was going to do a little mountain and stuff. And uh, if I F4 here, it's cheaper this way. You can see 
It's pretty cool, though I don't like the, like what it does to the ground. It makes a big shadow, <laughs> which is kind of gross, but uh, pretty nifty. Anyway, I think there's a bed in here. Let's go sleep away the night. Oh, did I remove the bed? Jeez, I hope I did. I'll show this castle off in a minute here. Uh, bed. Yes. Okay, great. Darkness is not good for YouTube. So, um, yeah, let's show off this castle. So I think I found this on Reddit as well. Um, but I decorated it on my own and I built some stuff around it. Uh, it's pretty neat. Basically, I was going to live here. This is going to be like my new base. I was like, yeah, I'm going to build a medieval village. And then uh, this took me so long to build this tiny little castle that I kind of gave up and like moved on with my life. Uh, over here is a little secret tunnel that you can only get to if you turn this the right way. Huh? Pretty nifty. And over here is a little, you know, little thingy thing. Uh, oh, and this was like a kitchen or something. I don't know. Um, down here, a little cave with another portal that I never use. In here, I was going to make like a mirror room. Like you walk in and like an armor stand pops up. But, uh, you know, it's perfectly mirrored, this room. But it's one of those things that like I started doing and I got this far into it. And then I was like, yeah, you know what? This is really stupid. I'm never going to finish this. So <laughs> I left. And down here, you can come into the cave. And this was really nice. I, I wish I had more use for this area. Maybe I'll build some farms out here. Over here, uh, another mega farm, which only half works because I'm a moron. Um, big old factory type building, like garage doors and everything. But you come in here and it's actually an everything. Well, it's actually like an everything farm. I don't know if you remember like Hermitcraft and stuff. People were building these. Uh, whoa, that's an interesting visual bug. Um, they were building these like farms that collect everything. Uh, this is my own design and it really works awful. Like it, it barely runs. Um, you can AFK here for hours and get pretty much only sugar cane. And the main reason I think is my collection system is one hopper minecart. <laughs> so like three quarters of the stuff despawns and it takes so long for this thing to fill up that like it's, it's just freaking useless uh it's really pointless but i really like it i'm pretty proud of it maybe one day i will build a better one probably not though if i'm completely honest because that was super tedious anyway uh let's do a little jump cut here to my next area that's my portal this is my portal by the way uh whoa okay wait this is my portal, by the way. Um, I built this. Uh, it took forever. It's a lot of blocks. It's really deep. And thank you to everybody who suggested putting black glass down here so the mobs don't spawn. I did end up doing that. Huge difference in lag, too. But pretty nifty. Anyway, let's go through. I will admit, uh, my nether is not super developed. Um, I used to have... Oh, yeah. Shaders doesn't work in the nether. Uh, I used to have, like... I have four, I don't want to go all the way down there. I used to have tunnels here, well, like tunnels in, in the air quotes, uh, connecting some of my stuff. And then I gave up on it because this was so freaking grindy to make. Oh my gosh, never again. And now I just live on top of the nether. And what sucks about that is uh, I don't label anything and I don't have any actual paths. So I just get like lost in the roof of the nether looking for my stuff. But that's okay. And up here, is a uh pretty typical frog farm or frog lights is that what they're called something like that anyway pretty nifty but we're going to this portal right here because this is the next section of my world that i'm really proud of and that i really like so i hope you like it too ah it's raining great okay one second we are back in business. So um, I slept away the rain and waited <laughs> for nighttime. Um, I really hate the rain. Uh, so this place is where a lot of my more recent videos have taken place. Just said place two times in like 10 seconds there. Um, this is a castle that I built. Uh, basically my favorite YouTuber ever, Beta Below, was doing a lot of this like cell shading stuff back in uh, like 2022. In this era, he was building some similar stuff, so I wanted to kind of try my hand at it. Um, I don't know if I like it, to be honest, now it's th that it's been built like a few months. I think I like the silhouette, but I'm not sure if the shading is what I was really going for, ultimately. 
but it is pretty neat. Uh, it's all original. I'm really proud of it. This is probably one of my favorite builds on this world. And uh, of course, it's called the Crassel. Little uh, little joke there. Whoa, you can edit signs now? Man, I have not played the new update. <laughs> so in here, super hyper detailed, you know, a little library and go up to the top. A uh, little storage room. Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of good stuff, actually. Um, I was looking for a lot of this. <laughs> anyway, pretty cool. Uh, you can go in here to another way out. If we go upstairs, I tried to do these weird layers of levels. So it's not like a clear cut two stories, if that makes sense. It's like a lot of like a micro, hmm, a lot of micro stories, sweet dreams. That's where the bed used to be. I just picked it up so I can sleep on the go and I don't want to respawn here. Uh, up here, I don't know what's up here actually. Yeah, just kind of more decorational, really, honestly. Down, yeah, in case that wasn't obvious. Uh, up here, a little honey farm. I think there's bees living in here. And yeah, just a bit of miscellaneous decoration. Uh, over here, not done yet. Another on-the-go project that I do really like. I do want to build more. But uh, it's one of those things that just takes forever and I don't always have the time <laughs> or the energy or the ideas. Uh, you know how it is, old Minecraft worlds. Uh, so that's the gatehouse coming into the village here. We have our church on the left. I think I built this whole place in like one episode too. So I kind of burned myself out of this area. So we have a church and like a mason a pond. Uh, I don't know what this is. A little shop. Another little shop. You know, I spent a lot of time, Cannon. I spent a lot of time in this area, really hyper detailing it. And actually, we can go up here. I gotta say, I'm really proud of how this came out. And I think this area is more um, representative of my more recent style and like how much I've developed uh, building in this game when I started taking it a bit more seriously. And by seriously, I mean just like trying to see things all the way through. <laughs> so, oh, that's cool. I uh, have a little house here. Every house is decorated too, by the way. Um, I don't think I'll take the time to show them all off, but we can take a look at some of them. Look at that one last. So come out here, there's a crane. Um, this is like a loading dock. I built some stairs, which is like F4. I built some stairs. I will build some boats. It's in the works. I'm still designing them in creative, but uh, I will build some boats and that'll be really neat. Come in here. There is a portal. I, I'll be honest. I have no idea where this portal links to. I think it's kind of busted, so I'll have to fix that. And this is where I live. Oh, hey. Oh, man. I've been looking for this. 51 beehives in here. Oh, my gosh. Where were you? I needed all this stuff <laughs> and all the mangrove wood, too. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm like sniffing through my own stuff here. But yeah, if we give it a little bit of a flyby here, and we turn on the cinematic cam, I think it's a pretty cool area. I do want to develop it with some more wheat fields and stuff, but it just takes a while, and if you guys have any ideas on what I could add to this village to make it more complete, please let me know in the comments. I'd be super happy to hear it because I- whoa, ow. I am kind of running out of ideas for this place. And as the sun sets, I think that's a good place to uh, end off this video. Uh, and before I say thank you and ask you to subscribe, I just wanted to mention uh, I haven't uploaded in a while. And I think, you know, I I've just been playing this game so long. Sometimes you kind of get uh, burned out and it's hard to keep going. And I didn't want Minecraft to become a thing where I just loathed it. So I decided it's probably better to take a break and come back with some fresh ideas and some fresh inspiration. And I think now that I'm back, I've got some really great ideas, some really cool video ideas. So I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.